ChatGPT has become a recent hype in artificial intelligence and machine learning, as this chatbot gives fast responses and unexpectedly human-like conversation with high accuracy. As an AI and ML tool itself, what does it say about the current trends in machine learning? Here are the top three answers given by ChatGPT. In short answer, they are automated machine learning, auto ML, deep learning, and explainable AI. Machine learning, especially practical ML, has evolved from mastering theoretical concepts such as math and statistics, to a growing trend in expansion and integration with various disciplines, such as data engineering, software engineering, business operations, ethics, and security, etc. Since enterprises are continuously scaling ML projects and applying it to critical decision-making processes, ChatGPT has given us the reasonable answers of the ML trend in AutoML, Deep Learning, and Explainable AI. Each field is a very broad knowledge domain that requires years of learning to master the skill. In this video, I would like to share some learning materials that may help to get your hands dirty in the field quickly. These materials are generally a combination of code snippets, case studies, and brief theory or background of the concepts. If you are more interested in a general roadmap of self-learning data science, have a look at another video for learning statistics, math, data visualization, SQL, etc., with the link in the description. The first topic suggested by ChatGPT is AutoML. AutoML falls within the broader discipline of machine learning operations, also known as MLOps, which integrates ML workflow with software development operations. MLOps covers the entire workflow from data collection to data pre-processing to model building to model deployment and maintenance. Whereas AutoML primarily focuses on automating the model building phases within this entire life cycle and it typically handles feature engineering, hyperparameter tuning, model selection, etc. Personally, I think MLOps is a more trending and comprehensive domain than AutoML. This is because even though machine learning has been introduced to enterprises and institutes for decades, a high percentage of ML projects still fail to be deployed into production. Therefore, there are more efforts putting into MLOps and ML in production in recent years. The Google trend also indicates an outstanding growing speed of MLOps topic being searched in the last five years. So how can we get started in MLOps and be prepared for the this trend in ML? The first resource I recommend is the GitHub repository, Awesome MLOps. It is indeed an awesome GitHub repository that collects a large amount of blogs, books, documentations related to MLOps. This repository surrounds the topics of model testing, deployment and monitoring, data engineering and software engineering, workflow management, process management and more. The repository helps us to gain an overview of various subtopics in this field by reading one or two short articles on each subtopic for a basic understanding. Secondly, I recommend the book, Building Machine Learning Pipelines, by Hannes Hapke and Catherine Nelson. This book introduces the MLOps framework, TensorFlow Extended or TFX, that allows bringing ML pipelines into production. The first part of the book covers implementing the typical ML workflow using TFX which typically starts from data ingestion, data validation, data pre-processing, model training, model analysis, and validation to model deployment and maintenance. The second part of the book focuses on orchestrating TFX ML pipelines using Apache Beam, Apache Airflow, and Kubeflow. The authors explains this part with both code snippets and screenshots of the interactive user interfaces. Overall, the authors organize MLOps concepts in a logical structure and demystify productionizing ML pipeline with practical examples, which makes these concepts easy to follow. In addition to this book, the TensorFlow Extended YouTube playlist serves as a perfect complement of this book. I recommend watching the videos first and using the book for digging deeper into specific topics. Another book I recommend for learning MLOps is Practical MLOps by Noah Gift and Alfredo Deza. The book covers a wide range of fundamental concepts and toolings in MLOps. Especially, the first chapter, Introduction to MLOps, talks about the hierarchical need of machine learning engineering and provides a roadmap of different skill sets required for mastering MLOps. 
According to the authors, MLOps is composed of 25% DevOps, 25% data, 25% model, 25% business, and it is the mixture of these domains that makes a scalable and efficient MLOps pipeline in production. The following chapters, the book dives into the topics such as bash and command line, containerization, auto ML, and continuous integration, continuous delivery CICD, etc. Additionally, it covers how to implement MLOps through three largest public cloud providers, AWS, GCP, and Azure. The author Noah Gift also hosts a YouTube channel, Pragmatic AI, where he walkthroughs each chapter in this book with code demos and examples. I highly suggest checking this book or series out if you would like to have a comprehensive understanding of various toolings involved in the MLOps process. The second trending topic is deep learning. There is no doubt that deep learning has become a hot topic in recent decades. As you can see from Google Trend, the topic has remained at top search volume for at least five years already. Specifically, computer vision and natural language processing are two deep learning fields that yield major progress recently. To start with these fields, I do think that it is crucial to have a fundamental understanding of basic machine learning algorithms first, then generalize and extend the knowledge to deep learning. Here I have curated some resources that may help to reduce the learning curve. Firstly the book, Hands-On Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn, Keras, and TensorFlow by Aurelian Jaron. This book begins by walking through popular machine learning algorithms using Scikit-Learn, such as classification models, regression models, ensemble learning, unsupervised learning algorithms. Then neural networks and deep learning are introduced in the second half of the book, primarily utilizing TensorFlow Framework and Keras API. The book covers a wide range of topics, including computer vision using convolution neural network, natural language processing using recurrent neural network, autoencoder, and generative adversarial network for data representation and reinforcement learning. This book has successfully coupled intuitive visual illustrations with practical use cases. The author does not discuss these topics in depth, which makes it a perfect fit for deep learning beginners. However, if you would like to dive deeper into certain deep learning topics, I recommend using this book as a starting point and branches out to more specialized areas. The second resource to get your hands on deep learning quickly is the online course, Introduction to TensorFlow for Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning, and Deep Learning by DeepLearning.ai. This course is created by Deep Learning AI, which is a platform founded by Andrew Ng and covers a wide range of deep learning specializations, and most of them are also available on Coursera. The course starts with an overview of deep neural network structure and basic components, such as tensor, activation functions, multilayers neural networks. Afterwards, it primarily focuses on computer vision and convolution neural network, introducing different layers in CNN such as filtering layer, pooling layer, dense layer, etc. With the support of the course material, you get your hands on creating your own deep learning models in a relatively rapid pace. Please note that this is a beginner-friendly course for those who have just stepped into deep learning and computer vision in particular. It does not involve cloud computing and most coding exercises are implemented on Google Collab. If you are interested in advanced topics and cloud-based practices, I recommend checking out other courses in their deep learning specialization. The third topic suggested by ChatGPT is Explainable Artificial Intelligence, also known as XAI. Explainable Artificial Intelligence is a reasonably young field but catches a lot of attention lately, as more black box models are emerging. These black box models are increasingly involved in high-stake decision-making processes, for example, medical diagnosis, self-driving car, or embedded in the daily life of the wider population, for example, Siri, ChatGPT. Therefore, it is unavoidable that we have to consider and establish best practices of ethical and responsible AI. Consequently, explainable AI is an increasingly high demand to bring more transparency and visibility to the internal process of black box models. As you can see, this is the Google trend of search term explainable artificial intelligence in the last five years. To get started in explainable AI, the first resource I recommend is the book, Interpretable Machine Learning with Python by Serg Massies. 
The book is a comprehensive guide of ML interpretation mechanisms, which can be broken down into three sections. Firstly, it summaries the importance of interpretability and explainability in machine learning practices. Then the second part covers different types of techniques along with their Python implementation, such as global interpretation methods such as SHAP, local interpretation methods such as LIME, CNN visualizers, such as saliency map, and counterfactual explanations. The last section gives some practical advices on tuning ML models for better explainability. Instead of building black box models and interpreting the output afterwards, it is also a common practice to build interpretable model in the first instance through model tuning techniques, such as feature engineering and selection, regularization, implement model constraints, and more. Lastly, the YouTube playlist Explainable AI provides a comprehensive guide. This video series, created by DeepFinder, uses nice visual illustration of model interpretation techniques and explain the theory behind them in a simple way. Each video typically ends with the practical implementation so that it provides the audience with a more concrete understanding of the concept. The introduction video of this series is very valuable in terms of providing an overview and differentiating explanation techniques into various categories, such as model agnostic or model specific, global explanation or local explanation, and explanations of different data types, including image, text, and tabular data. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Look forward to see you in the next one.